Kizzy is um, my great, great, great grandmother who escaped from slavery, went through Detroit into southern Ontario, and uh, during her time in Canada, she also lost her legs due to the cold. And uh, she eventually made her way back into the States after emancipation with her two children. Cease to agitate, we will, when the slave whip sound is still. Kari had started this journey to collect the music of the Underground Railroad, this music that may have underscored his ancestors' escape, Kizzy's escape. And so Kari and I got into a conversation around how we may be able to marry uh, his journey with the songs that he reinvented from the 1850s. Not only is the story incredible, but the music. The songs are, are incredible, they're so touching, and they're the most beautiful stories, and I'm going to start getting emotional because it's a really special feeling. I, sang my song to the river. I think all Canadians should spend some time in a space where our mythologies are challenged. The slave would be tied to the ring. And I do think we have a very reflexive impulse around the Underground Railroad. And what I'm really excited about is I think this piece complicates that. I think it celebrates the things that make Canada great. And it also points out that there's still a long way to go and that we've never been perfect. It's been an incredible journey and joy to feel like I'm part of a tradition, a very long lineage of people who have seen art as a means to provide a sense of power for people who are struggling. A lot of those stories have been omitted, unjustly denied. And so I feel like what we've created is a kind of gesture that is a correction in the world, a kind of uh, gesture towards rectifying those lost histories. They have to pull me under her bed because of the gunshot. Well, I would hope that, uh, that you would come along on this ride with me so that we can learn more about who we are that we can learn what it means to be human, but also that our voices count and that we all have a right to share uh, in this life together. It's the time.